Michelle here from Sparkle Me Pink, and today I'm going to be opening up my January Ipsy bag. Now I'm so excited to see what is inside here. I didn't cheat at all, and I really hope that it is a good one. The December one was kind of a letdown for me. I wanted sparkle and pizzazz and holiday festiveness, and I don't feel like I got that out of the December bag, so let's hope this one is a good one. Also, last January was totally like a pooper bag as well. So I'm really going to try hard to not be a negative Nancy and hopefully find some good in this bag. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, I love orange, so that's really cute there. We got a blue and a white. I wonder what the theme is. A Fresh Start by Ipsy. And it's got a couple of girls on the front there. I see Crispy over here. I don't recognize the other girls, but I do follow her channel. On the back it says, let's get fresh. Fresh start is a noun. A kick off so clean the possibilities are endless. Get ready for a fantastic and flawless 2015. Hashtag January Glam Bag. Cool. Let's see what fresh start means to them. Oh, something in bubble wrap. Very smart, I'm thinking. And it looks like nail polish. Eee! I love nail polish. Looks like a pretty blue color too. And it doesn't have any shimmer or sparkle in it. It's by Pro Belle. Pro Belle? I've never heard of that brand before. But it's a really pretty blue shade. I like it. It's in the color Into the Blue. And I like that it's full size, not like a tiny little itty bitty bottle. Very, very cool. And the bottle is very nice and sturdy. And I like the handle. I can't say anything bad about that. Very good. What else is in here? Pacifica. Um, it's a natural mineral coconut eyeshadow. Coconut eyeshadow? I've never heard of that. It's in the color Ethereal. A rich, lasting eyeshadow infused with coconut for a velvety finish. It's 100% vegan, cruelty-free, formulated without F, D, and C color, paraben, and petroleum. I think we got one of these in the May bag last year, and it was a duo, and I wasn't too impressed with it. Let's see. Okay. It gave much better pigmentation, and it feels a lot softer than the one that we got last year. Smells makeup-y. Yeah, I don't get a coconut smell out of it, but it feels really smooth on my skin. It's really pretty. This might even be pretty as like a light highlight right here as well as like on the brow bone or um, the inner eye shade right here. Okay, I'll give it a chance. I'm not gonna knock it before I try it like on my face. I really like that it's full size too. It is 2.5 ounces or 2.5 grams, I'm sorry. Okay, what else is in here? Uh, something in plastic. Oh, it's a brush and it's pink. It's the All Over Shadow by Elizabeth Mott. It says, don't miss a spot with this ridiculously soft shadow brush. The densely packed bristles gently place the right amount of color for perfect and even application. Your lids will thank you later. It's a 100% synthetic brush. And it's got a pink tip. Y'all know I love my pink, so this is perfect for me. And it is very soft. Um, it's a little bendy. So I think this would be great for that, like she said, like the all over color. So maybe use this as a base shade and just apply all over the lid. Um, oh, actually, this would be pretty good for um, blending out like a cut crease if you want to keep it kind of still dense in the shade. I usually use round brushes to blend out my crease, but sometimes I need something a little more precise, like I don't want it to fan out so much. And this would be really good. I could see myself using it for that more actually than packing on color all over my lid. I tend to use a flatter synthetic blush. Blush. I tend to use a syn... No, my gosh, I can't talk today. I tend to use a flat, very, very flat synthetic brush to pack on color all over my lid. But yeah, I can see myself buffing in the color right here of my crease and just kinda making it look all pretty. Very soft, love the pink. Moving on. Okay, what else is in here? Ooh, what are you? A Bella Pierre Cosmetic, and it is in the color Celebration. It looks like a loose pigment. 
in a coppery shade. Like I don't really feel like these kind of go together if they're trying to make like a little eye looking thing or if they're just kind of, this is very coppery and this is more champagne-y. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Um, as you guys know, I'm not huge on loose pigments myself. I'm very messy with them. I already got this all over my hand. Let's put some in the cap. I'm gonna use my finger. Ooh, it's very pretty though. Look, you can already see it on my finger. Ooh, very rich. Okay, and it's going on smooth. It's not like all over the place. So I may actually like this one. I may actually like a loose pigment. That would be a first. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Okay, last thing in the bag is in Eco Beauty by LA Fresh Group, the Good Day Day Moisturizer, Ample Hydration, Fresher and Happier Looking Skin. Bye bye, daily worries to make my skin dry and tired. Hello, fresh, confident looking me. It looks like one of those juice, like, fruit like fresh fruit package you give your kid and they like you know <laughs> um, uh, yeah. if you don't have kids you don't have any idea what I'm talking about it does say that it's highly natural biodegradable formula cruelty free and California born pretty cool and I do like LA fresh or law fresh is it law fresh or LA mm. um, products I've tried their makeup removing wipes and they're really good Let's try it. It doesn't seem like there's too much product in here. Like enough to use it maybe a couple times, but I don't want to waste it. Let's try a little bit. See if I can smell it. I don't really smell anything right off the bat, but I'm also kind of congested. It goes on very lightly. Nice and smooth, not tacky feeling. Cool, I will have to give that a try. As long as it's not one of those moisturizers that kind of makes me look shiny after a little while. I kind of need one that stays matte or like decently half dewy, half matte throughout the day because my skin's naturally oily. So I will have to try that one out and let you guys know. Overall, I actually am pretty impressed with this bag. I have to give it two thumbs up. I don't think there's anything in here that I wouldn't actually get some use out of. The only thing I was kind of iffy on is the loose pigment, but it went on really nice and smooth. I'm I really do want to try this on my eyes. It's one that I would probably actually use. The Pacifica went on really smooth as well, and I could see myself using that as a highlighter as well as an eyeshadow. The nail polish is a given for me because I just love nail polish in general. The brush is super soft, and I could see myself using this multi-purposefully and the face lotion. So score on this month's Ipsy bag. Let me know what you think about this bag in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.